Good afternoon, everybody. Leah is back and she is two nails down. We are going to remove her prom nails with my two-time coarse carbide safety bit. We're going to take them in a little bit. We're not going to take the length down. Clean under the nails, push the cuticles back. We're going to get a sanding band to prep the natural nail area. Only one band per person. People do not reuse these, please. I am standing out back near my pond. Listen to the water and the birds chirping. So we're going to go ahead and replace this nail. I thought it was a size five, but no, it was a size four. You saw how I sized it. Now we're just going to go ahead and angle them in to the coffin shape that she wants and the length that she wants. We're going to go ahead and press out my bubbles. Tap, tap. Pull. I feel like I need to go real, real fast. I'm sorry about these sped up videos, you guys. It's just that I am like recording such long sessions and then it's like, shit, I only have three minutes and this video is seven. So then I got to take it to my other app where I have to speed up. So sorry about that. But we're going to go ahead and lay these perfect little beads on these perfect little nails. Nope. 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 Diana. Not perfect. Not perfect. On these very, very good nails. Mm -hmm. I did two angles with the camera there. You see, I'm getting pretty fancy with this shit. Anyway, here's the inspo pick. So what I'm doing is one coat of Mademoiselle and second coat of what? Of what? Paloma! You got that right. We're going to do... One coat of Mademoiselle, the second coat of Paloma. I freaking love this look. I love it so much. And then we're gonna do some ombre. So I'm gonna do the Paloma Crocus Lavender under it. And we're gonna go in and do the ombre like I do. And we're just going to do the best we can with what we have. This one I did a little bit different because it was a little bit of marbling. So I took my brush and I want it like a really, really light, light. So I only did one coat, mixed in some white and got this cute little marble look. It was perfect. So after I'm done with the ombre, I think I went back like four or five times with that um, sponge to get the desired um, darkness of the color. I went back and just, I had mixed up a custom mix of glitter for this set. And um, I just dabbed that on the tacky layer and then we'll go over it with the top coat at the end. Um, for her flower, I mixed up a couple different shades of purple acrylic powder that I had. And then I mixed in with uh, white powder to make it a really super light lavender color purple that I was looking for to create the petals and um, after this we did a top coat and this is the final look I love it